Okay, everybody, we're going in to rehab, so I'm going to have to be quiet. But what's happening here is Ash, the baby bobcat, is due for his booster vaccine. So the keepers are going to have to net him, give him his vaccine, and then we'll head out and follow Catherine to do evening meds and snacks. I'm trying not to bump you around here. <laughs> it's just like Jamie parks right in the middle of the road. Every time I turn around.
for me. I said, watch for that corner there. Yeah. I'm just gonna go around here so that I don't clip those nets. Thank you. Yeah, that was a little bit interesting with that swing wrapped around my neck. <laughs> I'm trying to turn them so they're not, not going to hit. Yeah. I was sitting there going, I can't see what Jamie's doing. <laughs> got a more ticked coat. Ticked? Um, kind of like if you know what an Abyssinian cat looks like. It's kind of more melded in there and she's got more spotty. Oh, that's how I tell them apart. <laughs> Some people tell them by the face markings. And one person asked if a booster was dope. If a booster was dope? Yeah, they didn't know what a booster shot was. Oh, <laughs> Um, that's the booster of the FVRCP, which is the feline upper respiratory series. The and it's just like you can hear a domestic cat that killed? Yeah. It is, and that helps. Um, against most of the upper respiratory virus, most of the upper respiratory, like renal tracheitis, um, Kalichi virus. Poor Lisa, has she caught her first bobcat yet? So she, she was actually one of the original ones that caught Alpha. Oh, okay, so great. She and Catherine did catch her and first one. <laughs> when I saw Jamie that did this one, it was like, oh no, not again. <laughs> So if you'll drop me at food prep, I'll oh, okay. pop my bike and see if I can find Catherine. Okay. <laughs> Lots of kitten shots every day. Yes, or I every do. Week. Yes, I do. A lot of times Jamie's mean and makes me do it, but she did it this time. So. <laughs> A little bit of relief there when she grabbed that nail. <laughs> yeah, I don't like giving shots either. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now to find Catherine. You guys, keep an eye out. Our tour path is getting some potholes in it. Slightest bit of rain and that happens. I was reading about some interesting progress that's being made with desalination plants. One of the big problems with desal plants for creating fresh drinking water from salt water is that they consume so much energy that it just doesn't make sense to use them. It's like it pollutes the environment and causes a lot of trouble, but there are some really cool things going on right now. New advances that if implemented quickly enough may help save some of our most water starved cities. I found her cart. Now I just gotta find her. She's not with you, winning bear. She's not with the bear. Poor old running bear. He's so old. Hi. Hey, sugar. Yeah, it's just me. I don't have anything for you. They put those brushes on his platform here so that he can scratch his own matted fur. He's not matted right now because he just got groomed, but 
he's so old, it's just not a good idea to keep knocking him out to groom him. So I think, I think Jamie said it was Michael Heap's idea to put these broom bottoms and screw them to the side of the platform so that he rubs up against them. I see some fur hanging off of him, so he must be using them somewhat. Running bears 20 something. There's Catherine. All done. Kitten is vaccinated. <laughs> I don't know how many more he's got to get before he's done. Is this thing okay to ride on? Oh yeah, can you fuck it up? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> this will be fun. It's oh. like riding in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> Which we never did as children, never. never. I was watching you make the evening meds on the nest cam and thinking she looks like she's just ready for today to be over. <laughs> oh, I lost my shoe. Malls up on her platform. Hey, Cynthia and Bella and Paula Ooh. and Ray. There's Nala on her Kulu. And Zukari up there. Oh, there's Simba. I was going to say, since they cleaned out his cage. <laughs> sure he's still in there? Let's go see Zimba while she gets Servi ready. Servi gets a little nervous that there's too many people too close while she's trying to get her meds. Zimba is the last of the five servals who came here who had been kept in a basement in New York. Hi. They had spent, I think, 13 years in that basement. You can find all about his story at bigcatrescue.org slash Zimba, Z-I-M-B-A. Oh, Deb's put the link there for you. And... He's out. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how Servi's doing. There she is, back in the back. Hi. What are you doing, Machina? Sheena Serval. Ah. And Cricket Serval. Everybody's waiting. Sorry, Cricket. I don't think you're on the list. The only cats who get fed in the evenings are the ones who are either real poor doers and don't eat their whole meal in the morning, or they have to get meds twice a day.
She's not having it. That was Servi, and this is Sheena. <laughs> She's totally ignoring Catherine. This is Cricket. Okay, Catherine got her on her feet. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but she got her to come over and eat. The little box she's sitting in is her feeding lockout. It's where the cats get fed and watered every day. And you can see there's a door, so the keepers can move the door and get the cat used to the idea of coming into their feeding lockout in case they needed to catch them for an emergency. Oh, who is it for? Who is it for? Oh, it must be you. <laughs> you girls lucked out. <laughs> now the cubs are like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Not you guys. What? See one of you way back in the back. This has to be Artemis to be so spooky. He so spooky. I don't think you are. I think you're one of the boys. <laughs> Tripped over his ball. You were so busy watching, watching those servals eat. Yep, cubs definitely think it's their turn. Yeah, a lot of people have figured out that lions and tigers don't make good pets because they can be 400 pounds, but they will stupidly get a smaller cat, like a serval, because they weigh 40 pounds, which is about the size of a dog, and they think that they're going to raise it like a dog, and it's going to be like a dog, and that's <laughs> not going to happen. It's going to pee all over your house, because that's what wild cats do to mark their territory. Doesn't have anything to do with litter box training. You think if you chirp, she'll stop? You're trying to hail yourself a cab here? Ralph! Is that Artemis? Yeah. Oh, well, I said it because it was so spooky. It had to be Artemis, and then she came up to me. I was like, no, it can't be Artemis. She wouldn't come no, up to me. No, that's her. Mm. You do come up to Carol. You yeah. do. What a good girl. You were so brave. Are you being brave? Somebody's tail hanging out over here. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'll let you have the tail. Oh, there's somebody's face. It looks like both of them are in there. Mm. Nope, Somebody's nope. over there. Somebody's over there. <laughs> How are you turned around like that? That's uh, <laughs> that's kind of hard to do. It is. So that's Orion in the cave, and then Aries is over here. I'm glad I have a guide with me. <laughs> Ginger is on vacation. She's right there under that tree. Oh, yeah, she is. She's that. been chasing stuff in there. I bet she is chasing all kinds of stuff. Is she on your list? She is on my list. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Miss Ginger? <gasps> my goodness, you just look so pretty under that tree. Be even prettier if it was in bloom. You're not on the list. I'm sorry. You're cute. Oh, no man. Hi.
Congregation is a 22,000 square foot space and all of the small cats get two weeks in here. So it's Ginger's two weeks right now. I got so much glare on my phone, I can't tell if you guys can see her or not. Ooh, what is that? You heard the clack. The clack of the tongs. Oh, almost missed it. It's a chicken burrito. Does anyone else need to smell power gate? Oh, who is purring? We're purring so much. Sorry, I'm sorry. on the flatbed was not as much fun as it looked like. <laughs> My old bones were like, oh no. <laughs> Like, no problem. Yeah, did I see Armani just had a 22nd mm -hmm. birthday? Did you finally get that for me, Sonny? Are there meds in that, or mm -hmm. is she just getting a meal? There's meds in that. And what is she medicated she for? She's getting um, Miralax to help her poop good. That's why it's so oily That's looking. That's why it's so wet looking, yes. Linda wants to know if you've ever plopped any on a cat's head. Unfortunately, yes. I can't tell you how many times I had done that back yeah, when I used to move. feed. Like you think that they're gonna stay in the same spot, and then they always move their head. We try not to, but it does happen. Some cats you even have to shut the door just to keep them from coming in because there's no way you're gonna get it on the plate. Yeah, no. Or they're in your face and won't even let you throw it in. Depra Apollo's got a fan on his den. A lot of people have been asking about installing an air conditioner out there, but I just don't think that's feasible in that location. And the portable air conditioner sprays a mist, and I don't know if he would be tolerant of that. Lynx are not really big on being wet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we try to run out and catch it when it rains to turn that fan off. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like it when it rains on that fan.
Susan, she's 22 years old and her little wrists are collapsed. So that's why she's looks like she's on her ankles like that. She is on or her elbows. She is. Naomi, we've looked into artificial snow many, many times, <laughs> and we have never found a, a solution that would work here. I remember us uh, doing a bunch of bags of ice for the snow leopards once. <laughs> <laughs> and they touched it once and then walked away like, what the hell is that? <laughs> hey, Manny. This is Diablo. He's a savanna cat. She's bringing you something good. He's so funny. He's like, okay, this is far enough from the lady with the camera. Now we can take the treat. Now we're headed over to Des Serval. He's a three-legged serval who was found almost dead near the, laying alongside the highway in the Catalina foothills of Arizona. Oh, I do have food. Did you think I was faking it? Do you think I was faking it? Yeah? And she brought some extra treats back here for Alethea. Alethea is our newest rescue. We were contacted about a bobcat that is two years old and the owner doesn't want her anymore. The Global Federation of Animal, or the um, Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance contacted us You're okay. but we require that the people give up the cat and contract with us to never own another You're exotic okay. cat most people are not willing to do that but Alethea's owner was You're all right. Good job. she seems so much more calm now yeah. I see yeah. her watching keepers and yeah She's settling in really well. She comes out in the morning. Um, she's still getting fed by the coordinators, but she comes out in the morning when the feeders are out. Do you eat the legs too? I feed it all. She's really taken to the whole prey. <laughs> that is her favorite thing. Are you happy to be here? Happy. The food is good. Did you see that other one that I dropped? Oh, there's another one. Look behind you.
trying to get her to follow the stick down so that she can see that there's another treat in there. The cat's sense of smell is not that great. <laughs> There are a lot of other sanctuaries that were in that list, and there, sadly, are a bunch who just want to rescue cats and don't care about ending the problem, so somebody will end up taking the cat, but we offered to if they would contract with us not to own another exotic. She's so pretty. You are pretty. Did you eat the whole thing? And she's very tall. <laughs> very tall. These are the enclosures for the new tigers that are coming from Guatemala and that process is finally moving along so we're hoping that they will be here by August. Keisha back there on her platform. Ooh, she's coming. Girl. Don't want to miss girl. that. Girl. For those of you who are new, she has a webcam right up there, and you can watch her live 24-7. All of our webcams are at bigcatcams.com. weirdest rain like it just like pours, pours. for like five seconds yep. and then it's clear for an hour and then all of a sudden out of nowhere <laughs> yep. I know I thought it was going to rain 
been like, okay, go do projects. Deluge. <laughs> They're like, okay, come back in. And then it's sunny. And I'm like, okay, go back out and do a project. Deluge. <laughs> like the interns are like, could you please just somehow predict this? <laughs> like, I'm trying. It's usually not like this. Yeah, it, it, it's a drizzly kind of thing. It's like, oh, this feels good while you're working in it, but that's yeah. just been weird. Well, then it's just steamy afterwards. Yeah. Oh, my battery's low. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need meds. that's all my camera is going to be able to do. I need to save a little bit of battery in case I get stranded on the way home, so I'm going to have to call it a day. But thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you again for everyone who has donated and those who are Facebook fan subscribers. I really, really appreciate that. That money adds up and I think we're something like 40 or 50 people away from being able to support a whole tiger for a whole year based on the number of subscriptions just at 99 cents a piece. So if you haven't done that, a great way to give to the cats and get so many more videos and photos of them. Good night, everyone.